Today I'm making a vinaigrette. First, we need 240 ml of oil and 80 ml of vinegar. This is the oil. After that, we add vinegar in it and stir them together. Next, I'll need to prepare my veggie. What happened to my vinaigrette? It become two layers. You need an emulsifier, which is an egg yolk in this case. You add this into the mixture and you stir it to form a stable emulsion. What's emulsion? What is emulsifier? I don't understand. What is emulsion? Emulsion is a mixture of two or more liquids that are normally immiscible. The formation of emulsion is related to the formula below. Let's look at our example today. Why is vinaigrette formed? Vinaigrette is an oil in vinegar emulsion which is commonly used as culinary sauce. It can be prepared using oil and vinegar with egg yolk as emulsifier. When oil and vinegar are added together, they will form two distinct layers. Oil will float on vinegar as it has lower density. When the two liquids are shaken vigorously, the oil will disperse throughout the vinegar. An oil in vinegar emulsion is formed. After a period of time, they will eventually separate into two layers again. This is called temporary emulsion. The phenomenon is known as surface tension. To make a permanent emulsion, we need an emulsifier. And again, what is emulsifier? Generally speaking, emulsifier is known as the binding agent of water and oil. It has a hydrophilic head which dissolves in water and hydrophobic tail which dissolves in oil. This allows them to orient themselves at the interface, reducing the surface tension between liquid phases. Besides, the emulsifier molecules will surround the tiny droplets of oil with polar ends facing outwards. This helps to stabilize the emulsion. These are the common examples for the food emulsifier. And what if there is no emulsifier? These are how our mayonnaise and butter will look like. Enjoy! Emulsions are widely used in chemical industries such as cosmetics, agriculture and pharmaceutical.